Hi guys, I published a video a little while back of me 3D printing these wings. It's a, a flying wing designed by Joshua Cameron. So there'll be links to his videos in my video description. It caught my eye when I saw it on somewhere, Pinterest I think. So it reminds me of this one that I did several years ago. Uh, this is foam from pizza trays. Um, that's what our pizzas used to be delivered on. And it does fly. Um, when I flew it, I was a pretty hopeless pilot. Whether I could do any better now or not, I don't know. But I struggled to keep it in the air. But it does use the uh, WL Toys V911 receiver block, which has the servos built onto the receiver board. And then it has a couple of outputs, battery. Uh, act it actually has two motor outputs, I think. And I have trouble trying to get this all off here, but I'm going to take this one apart, use the components from it, on here. Not sure if that's a big enough motor. It does struggle to keep in the air, but that's probably the pilot more than the plane. Uh, in the video where I printed this, it's just one of my 3D printing videos with music stuck on it. This is the one that was actually in the video, and I'd got the settings wrong. So this grid in here is much too small. So this is quite heavy. I'll put it on a set of scales in a minute so we can do a comparison. So that's the original that I printed. Realised that I got it wrong. So reprinted it with a bigger space. Hang on, I'm short of a wing there. Oh, I'll find it in a minute. So wing, centre section. That's already breaking. Uh, elevators, ailerons, whatever you want to call them. I notice he hasn't beveled the edges at all, so that that's flat butting onto flat. So I'm going to have to have a bit of tape or something in there to give it a hinge. On this one, it's tape on the top, and then you've got a bevel on the bottom so they can go up and down. Um, what I plan to do today is just get these to actually fit together and then cover them with tape to fill the gaps in so you haven't got air blowing through it. So that's what I'll do. But this one, this is just for, well, I might hang it from the ceiling or something but it won't fly because it's going to be too heavy. Oh and the noise in the background is the washing machine because it's a sunny day so we're doing the washing. Well I've glued the wings in place, had to do a bit of filing to trim it, trim it up so they actually slotted together. I'm now looking at the ailerons or whatever you want to call them. I seriously don't see any point in putting them on there at the moment. I think I'll reprint them with a slot on them, slot, bevel. Because at the moment, if I tape them on there, if you have them taped at the top so they can go up, when you try and give it down elevator, it's going to try and stretch the tape. Either that or you fit them on with something like a gap like that in the middle and then push it together and hope that the tape sort of holds it together. I think I ought to redesign them. It would have been better to have redesigned these, I think. Top edge, so it had a slope on it so that we could have the hinge on the bottom flat and so it could actually tilt up. 
with the elevator horn pre-printed in place, that's going to be a problem to tape that anyway. Well, it can be done, but it also means that elevator horn's particularly weak across there because the layers are horizontal. I think I might redesign that. Maybe even design it with a slot in there so we can put the elevator horn through it. Yeah, don't like this. Uh, sorry, Joshua. <laughs> I did say I'll do a weight comparison, so we'll do that before we do anything else. Set to grams. All right, 40 grams. Like that. Eighteen grams like that, so less than half the weight. And just for the record, this one ready to fly with battery. Thirty five. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel. And down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.